Hi, I'm Carlos Arenas. I am the sales manager for Viva Mail, and I'm here today to show you how you can embed a video into an email that plays automatically when the user opens it. Let me show you an example to see what I'm talking about. In this case, we've got an email for a campaign that we've recently done. As you can see, I haven't done anything. The video plays automatically. The next step is to actually show you how you can do this yourself through our platform. It's actually quite simple. Our page is vivomail.com. In this case, I would log in. If you haven't created an account, you can do your, you can do this your, one yourself in here. If not, in my case, I've already got an account. I will log in. This is the main page where, in this case, because I've got a campaign, you can actually follow all of our metrics. But let's start from the beginning. You go to the top right hand side, click on create campaign. First step is for us to select the video. This is the video that you will choose to play on all the emails that we will send out to all the users. We will go and create a video name, whatever that is. Then we choose the video. Click on select video. We choose the video. And the next step is to actually upload this video into our system. So we would click on upload. Well, this is done. I'm just going to show you quickly what this means. In this case, uh, there's some specifications about the video. And, and, and the test platform, which is what we're doing right now, the maximum is 90 seconds and the size limit is 120 megabytes per video. The formats are various. That doesn't change whether you have a premium or basic campaign. What it allows you to change is the length of the video as well as the, um, the uh, size of the video. Now you've seen the video is actually uploaded into our system. So you can see the name of the video, the duration, the date that it was uploaded. The status is active. In this case, the next step would be to create campaign. We click on that. And then we follow through a wizard throughout the entire, the ent entire time in which you will be able to have instructions on the right hand side of the page. But let's start from step one. We'll call it however you want to. This ideally is the number of recipients that you expect to send this email to. In our case, we're well, just going to say 25. It can be whatever number you want. Three options, autoplay, that means the email will play automatically as soon as the user opens it. If you want it to play on a continuous loop, or if you actually want it to play no sound, have no sound whatsoever, unless the user clicks on a small icon on the right hand side that allows them to play the um, sound of that video. Then we'll cl click next. Now we get into specifications of the video. What we need to do next is give them an idea of the width in pixels which, which your video was made. The height will be automatically uh, be inserted. In this case, I already know my video. It's uh, 600 pixels. Automatically sets up the height for myself. And then as you can tell, it will give me a code that our platform has created which you then need to insert into your email template. What we'll do here is copy and paste. We'll go into our template. In this case, my template for this email is right here. I'll open it with an e uh, HTML. Now we're looking at the same uh, email preview, but in HTML format. What we need to do is we need to scroll down and find the section that shows us where we need to paste the code that we've been giving in the previous page. In this case, we would find this section, which is right here. We would paste, 
And now what we will do is we will save this file, but save as as a new copy. Call it two in this case, save it wherever you have your files. And then primarily we can close this now. We go back into our platform. What we need to do now is we need to upload that new HTML that we just changed. In this case, we'll click select HTML. We'll find the one that I just changed that I called it number two. We open it and then we click next. Now what's going to happen is primarily we're going to have this video go into our platform. In the meantime, what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about an uh, important topic in regards to uh, our technology is compatibility with the different types of operating systems, uh, ESPs, and the different devices that the user might want to open the email with. The key is to ensure that our users are always having a, a positive experience, which means they're actually able to watch the video in real life. They don't have, any, there's nothing they need to do extra. What we've done is our technology detects the type of device, the operating system, as well as the um, email client that the user is using real time to make sure that we're delivering that video in the best possible format. Let me explain to you what that means. We've got this graph that we've created that shows for example, 62% of the users that will receive the email, they're going to be able to watch the email with sound directly into the body of their email. Another percentage such as emails, uh, such email clients like Gmail or Yahoo, they're going to be able to watch a preview in GIF format, which they can turn the sound by clicking on a small button on the right hand side of it. Last but not least, we got a small percentage primarily those that are on office software, they're not going to be able to watch the video. What they're going to get instead is a small box with a play icon on it. Um, okay, now that, I've understood, now that I've explained this, let's go back and see if the video is ready. Okay, as you can see, this is the third step, which is a preview section. The most important right now is just to make sure that where we've inserted the video is where we actually want it to be, and also make sure that it's playing. We'll click on the blue icon, HTML video preview. And as you can tell, the video plays and it shows exactly where it want it to be. Okay, the next step is to show you you've got three different options. I'm going to explain fairly quickly what these means. Poster, this means that users that are not able to watch the video where they're going to get the play icon, this is the image that they're going to be able to see. Here you got the opportunity of actually changing that image should you choose to. Click on change poster. We will go to a folder wherever you might have those images. Choose that, that image and that new image will appear in this window instead. The second option, it's the animation option. What this is, is the GIF version of the video. What happens here, this is actually what the user will see. You also have the availability of changing the animation should you choose to, but in this case, the video is what we've already chosen. Last but not least, we've got alternative image. What this means is once your video impression pack has ended, this will be the image that users will receive instead of the video. Again, you can also change the alternative image should you choose to. Almost ready. What we're going to be doing is had you changed any of these images, what you would click is choose whatever image and then click on update to those for those changes to be reflected on the platform. In this case, we're good to go now. We're going to click on next. The next step is now we've got to figure out how many impressions we've got available in the system. In this case, because we've got the basic plan, we come up with 250. I've used a few, so I've got 244 left. What you can also do here is choose from different types of packs. You can go from 1,000 video impressions for 24 euros all the way to 100,000. If you want to purchase more than 100,000, We'll do on a case by case. If you want more information on each of these packs, you can click here. And also if you want to sign up for them, you can click here as well. The important part for you to be able to choose the type of package are two things is how many emails you're going to be sending and roughly what is your open rate. That'll probably decide what type of pack you can purchase from us. 
Also important to know that each of these packs does not mean that it's just for one campaign. You can buy, for example, a 5,000 uh, video impressions package that can be used over multiple campaigns. We're going to move on to the next step. We click next at the bottom. And this is pretty much the end. Uh, we've actually finished the process. What we can do here is download that template with the code that has been embedded with our technology. Download onto your system. That's what you actually would use to send through your mail system or through your ESP. This is primarily the process. This is it. Now I'm going to quickly run through and give you a couple other aspects of the website. In this case, let's go to my videos. Here you see all the videos that, in my case, I've uploaded to create campaigns. So you can always go back and create different campaigns if the video stays the same, but perhaps you have the HTML templates in different languages. We start a new campaign. In terms of all my campaigns, you can also see how each of these have been performing. This is a general overview. And by that, I mean, these are the metrics that we offer as it stands right now. So how many emails have been opened? How many unique visits? The number of impressions that we have delivered for all your campaigns, as well as the cost associated with them. Here we can also see each of the campaigns that I've done. You can click on each one of them to see individual numbers for them. The number of impressions will be shown here. And if you at ever point you want to stop the campaign, all you have to click on is on off and it'll stop. In this case, you can also see information on each specific campaign. So in this case, we're going to work on, we're going to click on the one that we just worked on, test one. We won't see a lot of numbers as no emails have been sent, but here's just a quick overview as to you what you will see for each of them. Again, the open rate, unique visitors, video impressions, campaign cost. It'll actually give you on the summary campaign day, it'll give you by day and by hour, the number of emails that have been sent, what has been opened, the number of unique visitors. So you can see every single day what's happening with your campaign. There's more information under general. You can click all these tabs to give you specific information about each of them. Well, guys, that was it. Thank you very much. As you can tell, this is a uh, simple yet complete platform in order to create email marketing campaigns and have the opportunity to embed video. If you ever have the need, feel free to go to our contact section and reach out to us with any questions. Thank you very much and have a great day.